Good afternoon folks from Hillbilly Garden December the 1st 2015. Just wanted to give you guys an update here uh, on the papaya plant and uh, just explain a couple of differences here. Uh, this one here uh, is just about a, a little over a year old now and uh, there's a couple of varieties of papaya here that uh, I'm currently growing in uh, Hillbilly Garden at Mirador San Jose. Uh, this one here is uh, the larger variety of papaya and you can see here that uh, it's quite a big larger size and uh, I just pulled one off of the tree here and uh, as you can see uh, they're quite large like uh, they'll even get bigger than this uh, like the size of a watermelon and they're quite heavy um, so th that's the larger variety of papaya and uh, they're not as sweet as uh, the smaller variety and uh, I'll show you the difference here so this tree here uh, has the smaller variety of uh, papaya and they'll get to be about the size of a large uh, softball uh, maybe slightly bigger but they're actually quite sweet and uh, the tree actually grows uh, quite tall and it'll get to the point where uh, the leaves will come off and uh, the papaya will grow so high that you're going to need a ladder or some device to cut them down. Um, I think uh, as far as I understand what the producers do is they actually uh, when it gets to that point uh, they'll actually cut the tree down and uh, start again because uh, it gets too uh, difficult to harvest the papaya. So, I just want to show you guys that little uh, difference in the papaya tree and uh, they seem to grow quite well here at Mirador San Jose. Um, they do require a fair bit of water uh, when they're young. Uh, once they're established, uh, you can water them once a week a little bit and they seem to be okay. And uh, the other difference is they seem to need a fairly rich soil as well. Uh, they don't we experimented with some of the clay soil in the area here and uh, they don't seem to grow as well. So that's the little trick here of growing the papayas at Mirador San Jose, Ecuador. The other thing I'm going to mention here is uh, as tempting as it is uh, you don't need to pull off these papayas when they're green like this. Uh, they're not ready and they're not ripened yet. They're, it's better to uh, leave the papaya on the tree and uh, let it do its uh, ripening so they can sweeten up and uh, to be ready to pull off. Uh, this one's not quite ready yet to come off. Uh, it needs to be more, uh, the green has to come out of that. It needs to turn more yellowy orange color. Um, but you don't want to leave it on too long because what happens is is the uh, skin actually gets quite soft and uh, the local bird population uh, seems to love to peck at the uh, soft areas and eat the fruit inside which in turn totally destroys your uh, papaya because uh, they don't uh, seem to stop at one they just seem to peck at every single one of them and ruin your crop so um, the trick is to find the balance of uh, letting it ripen on the tree and uh, not too long as where the birds are going to destroy your crop. So um, this little guy here I'm going to leave on the, the tree probably for um, another few more days and um, then I'm going to pull it off and let it ripen in the house and uh, it'll take several days. Uh, depending how green it was when you pulled off but uh, once it starts turning color like this uh, it doesn't seem to take long to ripen in the house uh, like three or four days and uh, you'll be able to tell the difference because the whole papaya will be the nice bright orange or yellow color and uh, the skin will be quite soft to touch and um, 
you'll be able to smell the fragrance of it as well. So uh, that's how you can tell it's ready to cut open and eat.